right, that was Marching G by CPE Bath. Um, I'm <clears throat> using the Anna Magdalena notebook. Um, the edition is the Associated Board um, edition. Um, a couple of things to go through first. One is that really weird fingering in the second bar um, with the right hand doing this. 4, 2, 5, 3, and then 4, 2. It doesn't strike me as very helpful. In fact, when I was trying to... Um, play this I kept making continual errors in there because I kept seeing the 4-2 because that makes you want to play these notes instead of these ones it's much better to do 4-2 5-3 3-1 two, 2-1 two, it's far more sense to me right um, the danger with this is that if it's all articulated and separate um, it can sound really really clunky especially if there's so many repeated notes there's loads of G's there's loads of D's so there's loads of tonics and dominants um, I've got to make sure that not only is, is it articulated well um, so there is slurs in there um, but it's also shaped really nicely so the repeated notes don't take dominance right so if I just play the right hand up until the um, repeat mark the double bar line of a mordant on the last note. Whoops. Um, and the second uh, trill is here. So there's a two, a three, and another two, of which the D is the D that's written in the book. So one, two, three, four, adds up to four. repeated notes so they become much less dominant now what we should be hearing underneath that is this melody so that's the melody oh, it's not that fast
hands. It's pretty easy, um, note-wise and articulation. Just make sure these aren't too loud because again, those are the repeated notes. They need to be less dominant. All separated. Thank you. 